Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Saglitch, aka Sag. Today I'm bringing you some domination gameplay on the map Riot. I'm with my boy Nero X5 and also Vampires of Darkness. Uh, links in to their channels will be in the description below. But guys, I am bringing you some more embarrassing stories. Don't worry, guys. I'm not too embarrassed to share with you. Hopefully, you guys are laughing at my experiences and also sharing yours as well, please. If you got something like it or just some funny stories, please tell me because I love seeing them, love hearing them. But uh, anyway, guys, this is going to be doing with my senior year of college. Um, I, I was a history major. I did uh, graduate with my degree in history. But I was also looking at getting into the education aspect of it, and I was in the educational program in my university. But one second, let me take a second out to point out my uh, my loadout. I've got about 27.308. And guys, it looks a little bare right now because I did just prestige in this gameplay. But uh, anyway, so let's get back into it. I was in the educational program, and as I was trying to get into secondary education, which is middle school and high school. Uh, so what you have to do, uh, you follow the steps uh, with your, you know, you, you take your uh, major courses and you still have to take educational courses as well. And basically your senior year, they put you in with the school and you're a student teacher, meaning that you're still in college, you're still doing your thing, but you get a cooperating teacher which um, allows you to take over his class and basically teach his stuff for like a semester and you have to do this to graduate as a education major um, and these are the experiences I got in my class and um, the school I was at it was a great school had a blast um, it wasn't the like uh, you know most uh, pristine school it was the local school which is literally not even two miles away from uh, my campus so I, if I wanted to, I could walk there. But uh, the demographics of the school were made up in both extremities of the, um, I guess, the demographics. And meaning that it, it was predominantly a minority-based school. But at the same time, it did have those snobby, rich kids as well. But anyway, um, so I have three different experiences to tell you guys about um, the first would be that uh, my experience in an actual lesson I was uh, teaching uh, these students about I don't want to get in the lesson plan but basically it was uh, it overlooked the time of monopolizing um, the railroads and the United States and so I'm going into it. I'm expressing to them why it's a bad, uh, why it was so bad to monopolize these things and why it could harm the environment, whatever, and not harm the environment, but harm the overall structure of um, of the economics. And so I'm sitting there. I'm getting into it. I I, I feel that the lesson's going smooth. Uh, my my students seem very very interested and guys let me let me break off for a second when I mean students I mean these guys were 18 when I'm 21 so there was not much of an age difference and it's tough for student teachers to especially secondary student teachers to try to get a grip and try to you know make sure that their class is in tune and not check like they test you a lot and you have to know your stuff you have to make sure that you are on your game or they will break you off and eat you for lunch anyway guys um, so I'm sitting here explaining to them why monopolizing the railroad would be horrible and why you know while all this stuff is going in the middle I'm like well how would that make you guys feel I was trying to get a response from the class you have to engage your class and I'm trying to ask them how, how they would feel and I was going from answer to answer and it, I wanted them to explain to me why they fought thought that that was so bad and what uh, outcomes they could possibly do. And in expressing that, I express my own opinion because people like to see what you do and then react off of that. And so when I did that, in the middle of class, I would say, you know what, if it was me, I would personally be very pissed off and I was like, oh, wait a second. And 
uh, I was like, ah, like I started freaking out because you know I'm I'm in high school, I'm a student teacher, and I just said pissed off, which, guys, granted, it's not the biggest curse word out there, but it can be super bad. If if this like this this whole incident could have been a lot worse than what it was, and so I I turned red in the face. I couldn't talk after that. I was like, I'm so sorry, guys. You know, I do apologize or whatever. And I look back. Everybody's laughing, and I look back in my own cooperating teacher, the guy whose class I was in, is busting out laughing, and he can't stop. And I, he, like, I'm looking for some guidance here, and there's nothing I can do. There's nothing, guys. And I'm like burning, and he's like, no, no, no. He's like giving me the roll on, like keep going thing. But I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And so I basically cursed in front of these kids. And if my supervisor, not supervisor, if my, uh, the person that taught me my, um, my, well, I guess he is a supervisor, but anyway, my advisor, if he would have been in there, I would have been yanked out right away, and I cannot believe I did that. I was so red in the face. I just fluttered, but finally I eventually got the track rolling again. Wheels on the ground, kept persevering, but afterwards I stopped my cooperating teacher. I was like, sir, I am so sorry for this. I cannot believe I said that. I'm, I'm such an idiot. I do apologize, and there's nothing more I can say. Then how sorry I mean he he just looks at me and goes son it's okay it happens I'm sure they heard a lot worse I'm sure they said a lot worse today so calm down and next next lesson just don't do it and guys I you know it, it was crazy you just had to see my reaction you had to see my face I was just flustered I've never been so flustered in my life after that uh but yeah that's that's in that you can't don't say just a word of advice. Don't say pissed off in front of a group of uh, high school teenagers. Because we all know how mature that they are. If you know my sarcasm there. Next up is the actual fight that happened while I was teaching. Um, I came in early morning, get everything set up for my first class to teach. Uh, and in the middle of... Uh, Right before class started, uh, a bunch of kids came up and said, uh, Hey, Mr. C, uh, just to let you know, you didn't see that fight this morning? I'm like, nah, nah, I didn't. Uh, you know, what, what happened? And they're like, oh, these two girls got in a fight, whatever. And uh, apparently it was broken up uh, before any of the teachers or principals knew about it. And there's a lot of trash talk. But uh, there's this girl in my class. And I was doing warm-ups with the kids, and just basically reviewing what happened the day before. And I was taking control of it, my cooperating teacher sitting at his desk. And I see this girl upset, but, you know, I didn't want to make her... I didn't want to give add fuel to the fire. So I just kind of let her do her thing. Uh, you know, these kids had the option of, call, of answering, and a lot of kids actually participated. So, anyway... Uh, all of a sudden I get, this girl gets something. This girl had to be like five foot five, maybe five foot four, but she looked like a, a NFL lineman. Like this girl scared me and I'm a big guy guys. And she gets up and she goes, I'm going to beat this girl. You know what? Whatever. And she just leaves the class. I'm like, uh, what, what do I do? My cooperative teacher gets up and goes, stay here, you know, take this under control, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'll be right back. And so he runs after him. And all the kids get up out of their seat, run to the door. I'm like, ah, uh -uh, guys. I was like, look, we're going, we're going to let that be taken care of, and we're going to continue with the lesson. So I'm basically babysitting, have no idea what's going to go on, and uh, yeah, come to find out after class, I'm walking down the hallway and I see my teacher on top of this other girl, and the two girls are still kicking. I'm like, what the? You know what is going on? And so I go run over there. I can't get involved because technically I'm only I'm a student of the university, so we can't get involved. But I just see him hovering over this tiny, tiny little girl, and these two girls are going after. And I just, you know, I was like, yeah, I might be teaching a couple of ghetto kids. So uh, that was a, another crazy experience. And last but not least, uh, it was my senior year of college. I was over 21, and I go with my roommate to go get some alcohol the night before and uh... Wednesdays you know we 
we're, we're old enough to have a little bit of fun. But anyway, we were out of alcohol, so I went with him to go uh, get some. I'm in the passenger seat. He's driving the truck. And uh, I come in the next day, and they go, Mr. C, this one girl. I, I like the girl, but she goes, in the middle of everybody, in the middle of the class, she goes, Mr. C, why were you at the ABC store or the liquor store? I go, what, what do you mean I wasn't? And she goes, no, that was that was definitely you. You were there. You were coming out. I'm like, well, I had to, I gave my friend a lift. I was the designated driver. Gave my friend a lift to the, uh, to the store. She goes, no, no, no. You, you were in the passenger seat. And I was like, no, I wasn't. And she basically called me on my BS and said, yeah, you were. I was like, well, I was like, you know, I just wanted to go with him, make sure that, you know, he, he got what he needed and help out. And she goes, no, 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 you were the one walking out with the brown paper bag. And I'm like, I'm looking at him like, you know, you're giving her the kind of like look to tell her to shut up. But she's not shutting up. I was like, no, not one. And she goes, yeah, it was you in the passenger seat. You were the one getting it. So basically I go, I, I, I cut her off from the class. I'm like, shut up. Like, I didn't tell her, I didn't say it out loud, but I whispered, I was like, you know, cut me a break. And then basically I got to the point where I was like, look, I'm 21 years old, I am legally able to buy alcohol, um, and when I do, I'll make sure that I drink and, you know, do everything responsibly. So basically, guys, don't, do, don't become high school teachers, it is tough just from a student teaching standpoint anyway guys i hope you enjoyed these stories leave a like if you did comment if you want to subscribe if you haven't also let me hear some of your funny stories like just you know whenever you get a chance get send them on down in the comments below anyway guys i hope you're having a great day bye